Hey everyone, welcome to another Chill with Pete, where I'm basically sat in my bedroom and I'm just going to ramble about a couple of things. Um, today I want to talk about some books, uh, more specifically uh, the main rule book of Warhammer 40k 7th edition and a couple of the codexes which I have. Okay, before we move on to it, we'll start with the rule book. This one here, that one there. Um, now I've I'm a new player, and I've only played a couple of games of Warhammer 40k, so I'm still learning the rules, and it's a minefield of different things to try and remember. Any, anyway, I read the sixth edition, the old sixth edition rule book. Uh, didn't make any sense really at all. Um, anyway. Days after literally finishing the last page, this baby comes out. And I thought, great, okay, well, that's fine. Uh, start from scratch, because there's a new psychic phase involved in, in Warhammer 40k now, which, although I'm not very experienced, I think is a good thing, because the number of bat rats I've watched where people have forgotten to use their psychic abilities is unbelievable. So hopefully, now there's an actual psychic phase, that won't be a problem anymore. Anyway... I haven't, like I say, I haven't been playing that long, so hopefully this will be a journey together, you you guys and me, and eventually, I know this is a crazy thing to say, but I would like to do a tutorial on how to play the game. Um, for two main reasons, really. One, I think that when you teach, trying to teach something, you learn about whatever that subject is yourself. So you learn more about it yourself. So if I'm trying to teach it on a video, then hopefully I will learn about said subject. In this case, Warhammer 40k. Um, and two, I just wanted to make a, make some more videos, really, and to boost up my YouTube channel with. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Okay. Um. Now this applies to all the books, all the codex, all the new books that are coming out, and all the new codexes that are coming out. I think, and I think I can safely say this: aesthetically, they are superb. They are brilliant. Okay, I mean, lovely hardback books. Yes, they cost a lot of money, but I think they're well worth it. You get lovely color pictures, and the quality of it is just very, very outstanding. And I think. If you're a veteran player, you benefit from all this. Now, we are beginners. Very confusing. Trying to play a game of Warhammer 40k when you're a beginner, totally, totally confusing. Uh, you're trying to flip through to find a rule here, and then you think, oh no, it's in the codex, so you flip through there, and you're, you're backwards and forwards, and you're trying to find all this stuff, so in that sense it doesn't seem to make it easy to find or locate things. So what I've done is I've just photocopied off a few pages, what I think might be uh, coming up quite regular in a game, especially to begin with, things like um, what, what units um, move and how far they move and things like that, because otherwise if you don't know it, you've got to look it up and that's a real pain and it slows the game down no end. So. That's my suggestion. Photocopy some stuff off. Right. Let's have a quick look at the codexes I have. Right. Because my two main armies. Ah, sorry. It's the um. It's the map making a noise. I'm sorry. Just wonder what it is. My two main armies are Space Marines and Tyranids. So, starting with the Space Marine book. Now this is awesome, because like all the other new books, nice hardback, it's, it's quite a nice thick edition. You'll notice I'm not going to be talking about specific rules and that, because I'm, I don't have the knowledge, I don't know, so why even try? So all I'm talking about is from a beginning perspective. Looks lovely. Uh, the layout in this is actually quite good. Um, so fairly easy to find I think um, lovely color pictures uh, show you on there yeah 
and that looks good. So all in all, a great addition. What was slightly disappointing, however, was it doesn't cover all the Space Marines. So if you've got things like um, Dark Angels or Space Wolves or Blood Angels, you're going to need a separate codex. So that is unfortunate. But I suppose uh, that's what you get when there's so many different factions of Space Marines. So, you know, whatever. So that's the Space Marines. I've also got the Tyranids Codex. Again, you'll notice nice hardback, but slightly thin on the ground. A lot thinner than the other ones. I don't know why that would be. Um, but that said, it's, there's still... I think it's because they've taken a lot of stuff away from Tyranids and various models and different things. But that said, to me, as a beginner, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty awesome. I've read this one through quite thoroughly, actually. Um, and it seemed fairly easy to understand. There's, again, there's some nice pictures in there. And, yeah, so that's that one. I've also got the Imperial Knights Codex. Why? Because I, I bought myself an Imperial Knight. And, heck... They're an army into themselves. This is Finn because there's only two different models currently of Imperial Knights. The Knight Paladin and the Knight Errant. But there's gorgeous pictures here. There's a lot of uh, background information about it. And I believe you can get another book on the Imperial Knights. This is the main codex. So, again, highly impressed. And today, what I got through the post from eBay is the Orcs. The new Orcs codex. Yes. Why did I get this? Because I bought a new Stormclaw box set, which hopefully I'll be um, unwrapping in a, a later video for you all to see. So, yeah, although this one's not been out that long, £20 from eBay, and it's pristine condition. Doesn't even look like it's been opened to me. So what do I think of this one? I like this one because... Um, for the pictures of the different um, models, they've actually used photographs of lovely painted versions of them. And I like that. That's good. Gives you the statistics of said model and shows you how, or gives you an idea of how to, you could possibly paint that model. So that's brilliant. So yeah. Okay, I don't have the Space Wolf uh, codex yet because it hasn't come out and I'm, I'm not going to buy the old one so I will wait until the new one comes out yes then I will be getting it maybe I'll get it straight from GW and maybe I'll get it from um, eBay second hand someone bought it and for some weird reason they just don't want it anymore I don't, I don't get that I don't I don't get it I mean let's face it this book has not been out long so you bought it. You maybe you've got you've obviously got orcs, orc army to get this. Why sell it? But they're on there. You know, it's not an isolated incident. That so, so yeah. Hey, good for us, right? So this is Peter saying, "Happy war gaming."